in this video i am going to explain you how to draw the three principal views of the given component as per the given dimensions so here is our component length of 120 mm this is the front view height of the component is 45 mm width of the component is 45 mm okay now let us see in the front view we can see this part okay only this view we can see so uh, let's draw the as per the given dimensions i will explain you how to draw the three principal views by using drawing template file solidworks consists of three templates that is part file assembly file and drawing file by using drawing file i will explain you how to draw the three principal views selecting drawing select okay here we can see sheet format to use here we have three options that is standard sheet format custom sheet format and no sheet format we have to select no sheet format select paper size here are the standard paper sizes that is a0 a1 a2 a3 and a4 i am going to select a4 landscape select okay the dimensions of the a4 landscape is width is 297 mm height is 210 mm this is the standard sheet size of a4 landscape sheet now select okay this is the graphic interface of the drawing template here you can see the gray color border this is our a4 landscape sheet this is the length and this is the this is the width and this is the height of the sheet within this area we have to draw the three principal views then only it will be uh, seen in the print preview only uh, drawn in this graphic interface select a grid command this is the sketch toolbar in sketch toolbar select a grid command document properties grid or snap it has been displayed here we have to select major grid spacing at a distance of what mm we need a lines we have to uh, that is grid we have to select i am taking as 10 mm minor lines per major so here we will take it as 1 mm sorry one line per major here select snap to points select display grid and select okay so this is the grid okay so here we can see a dark dotted lines this is at a spacing of 10 mm it has been placed at a distance of 10 mm apart now i will explain you how to draw the three principal views this is the front view in front view we can see a length of 120 mm and a vertical line of i20 and again we have to draw a horizontal line of 30 and again a height of 45 minus 20 it will be 25 see first we have to draw xy line take a line command here draw one xy line select end chain at height of 10 mm draw one horizontal line exactly 120 mm height of again 20 mm next i told you that is 30 mm next 45 minus 20 is 
twenty five next five mm draw one inclined line draw one inclined line exactly see that it should be exactly center that is one twenty divided by two means it will be sixty this is ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty means it is exactly under center now draw again one inclined line again horizontal line of 5 mm then vertical line again horizontal line and again vertical line here you do the dimension that is 30 mm here give 60 mm 5 mm it is also 5 mm this is 30 mm total light is we have seen that it is 45 mm okay total length is 120 mm so it is as per the given dimension and one more is angle between these two is 90 degrees Yes, it is 90 degrees. So this is the front view as per the given dimensions. Select. Now, let us draw the top view. Select a line command. we have to project this so this is the top view in top view we can see length of the part and width of the part length of the part is 120 width of the part is 45 mm take a line command from here draw one horizontal line at a length of 120 width of 45 mm here it is 45 again draw an horizontal line and join here in top view we can see this face this face and this point so we can see this face uh, of 5 mm draw an horizontal line here end chain again at a distance of 5 mm draw one more line again end chain here at exactly center we can see one line this edge end chain this is a 5 mm line end chain and this one okay so this is the top view this is the front and this is the top view here we shall draw one inclined line at angle of 45 degrees from this intersection point draw one inclined line draw one inclined line at angle of 45 degrees select dimension do the dimension to do the dimension in between a inclined line and vertical line or inclined line horizontal line we can we will get the angle that is 45 degrees select okay now select a line command here project this lines project this lines up to this inclined line okay and chain project this line up to this 45 degrees line again select end chain now from here draw one vertical line end chain from here draw one vertical line and project this lines from the front view end chain project this line again project this line 
okay inside view we can observe at this face and this face we can observe only two faces one height is 20 mm other height is 25 mm two rectangles we can observe from the side view so here is the two rectangular boxes take rectangle command from here draw one rectangle select again take one more rectangle and draw one more rectangle now we will select from left select only front view then select line thickness select thickness of the line next this is the top view select thickness of the line next this is the side view select thickness of the line so this is the front view top view and side view now select grid here dis deselect display grid and select ok so this is the front view top view and side view of the given component as per the given dimensions now save the file